Preterm babies. Whether the baby is term or preterm is determined by modified Ballard score. It is a physical as well as a neurological score. Coming to the skin, the stratum corneum is absent in the preterm. The ear cartilage in the preterm shows slow recoil. The breast nodule in the preterm is less than 5 mm. Scrotal rugosity is decreased in the preterm. Lanigo hair is more in preterm. Labia minora is prominent in the preterm. Plantar sole crease is less than one third of the surface in preterm and the tone is loose in preterm. Problems in a preterm baby will come from head to toe. Head. There is no direct relationship between preterm and mental retardation or seizures. Apnea. More than 80% in babies less than 28 weeks. That is called apnea of prematurity. The normal breathing is periodic breathing. It stops 3 to 5 seconds between breathing. If stopping time is greater than 20 seconds, with or without cyanosis, with or without bradycardia, it is called apnea of prematurity. Drug of choice is oral caffeine. Shaken baby. Presence with sudden pallor. There will be intraventricular hemorrhage. The cause is due to immature ependema and choroid plexus. So it is more common in babies less than 28 weeks and less than 1 kg. It presents with chronic seizure and bulging anterior frontal. Retinopathy of prematurity should be screened after 4 weeks of delivery. Minimum gestational age of 32 weeks. Heart, patent ductus arteriosus. Lungs, hyaline membrane disease. GIT, necrotizing enterocolitis. Liver, immature metabolism, brown fat atrophy causing hypothermia, hypoglycemia and jaundice. PTH, causing hypocalcemia. The mnemonic is Baby Friendly Hospital Initiative in a Medical Hospital, that is BFHIINAMH. Birth asphyxia, feeding difficulty, hypothermia, infection, intraventricular hemorrhage, necrotizing enterocolitis, apnea, metabolic acidosis, and hypoglycemia and hypocalcemia. Feeding If the baby is less than 28 weeks, feeding is through intravenous fluids. If it is between 28 to 32 weeks, by OG tube. If it is 32 to 34 weeks, spoon feeding and if it is greater than 34 weeks, direct breastfeeding must be done.